The degree of operating leverage, it measures our business risk or operating risk. And our formula is degree of operating leverage equal to the quantity multiplied by price minus variable cost per unit divided by quantity multiplied by price minus variable cost per unit minus fixed cost. So let's assume that we don't have any business risk. So what do we mean by business risk? This is the use of fixed cost. Therefore, we don't have fixed cost. So this means that the numerator will be equal to the denominator. It means that the degree of operating leverage is equal to one. So if degree of operating leverage is equal to one, it means that there is no business risk. Let's apply the same concept with degree of financial leverage. So the formula of degree of financial leverage is EBIT divided by EBIT minus interest. We said that degree of financial leverage, it measures financial risk. And this financial risk comes from the use of debt or preference share. In this formula, I give you only debt. Therefore, what will happen if there is no financial risk, which means there is no debt. Therefore, the company is not going to pay interest. Therefore, our numerator will be equal to the denominator. Consequently, our degree of financial leverage is equal to one. So if degree of financial leverage is equal to one, it means that there is no financial risk. Consequently, there is no debt. Lastly, what will happen if we don't have business risk and we don't have financial risk? Therefore, our total risk will be one, which is the degree of total leverage. So here, if degree of operating leverage is one, degree of financial leverage is one, one times one is equal to one. So if degree of total leverage is equal to one, it means that we don't have neither business or operating risk nor financial risk.